Well, the Italian court has delivered a huge blow to India's investigations into Choppergate. The court has refused Indian agencies any access to documents citing the secrecy clause. But was it a boat from the blue? India should have anticipated the move. The setback has come just a day before a team of officers from the Central Bureau of Investigation and Defence Ministry air dashed to Rome to collect evidence in the case. But the team is actually on an Italian junket as they are bound to return empty-handed. The court order is no shocker as four times in the past, Italian courts have spurned requests from the Indian embassy in Rome to divulge details into the case. Mr. Antony is obviously acting in haste without doing his homework. Indian embassy in Rome tried to get documents from courts four times in the past one year, but each time different courts have rejected the pleas. Top sources have told headlines today that India has unofficial copies of probe documents, including testimonies. So what really was the need to send a team without doing the groundwork? Here's more why the Italian trip is really a drain on the exchequer. Choppergate Kingpin, Hushke and Giroza are holed up in Switzerland and cannot be questioned. Former Finn Mechanica CEO Orsi is in jail and cannot be questioned. India is still hammering out the extradition route to grill them and the Italian government is unlikely to cooperate after the court order but India still has options. Let's hear what the analysts have to say. Well, I think that um, obviously you've got the, the limited resources of the investigators. We're talking about one magistrate in a small town in Italy who uh, will be stretching his resources to, to follow this trail, this international money trail. Um, I think it's also going to present huge difficulties to understand all the legal ramifications and all the, uh, the, the international laws that are involved here. So I don't think that we could see an end to this investigation anytime soon. Um, the new CEO, Alessandro Panza, has only been in the job now for a couple of days. And I suspect that he is going to wait until a shareholders meeting on April 15th, when his powers will be uh, fully confirmed, before he comes out and makes any statements about whether there was any, he's discovered that there was any uh, blame at the company, uh, whether there are any more guilty people within the company, or whether he thinks that Panther um, didn't commit any wrongdoing whatsoever and that uh, Finn Mechanica is innocent. We, we're going to have to wait a, a couple of weeks for this. Well, the, on the Italian side, the prosecutors have complete independence. They can come across evidence that uh, bribes were paid uh, to Indian middlemen or to English or Indian to middlemen on the, the Western uh, Western Augusta helicopter deal, and they are going ahead, and it has, they are completely independent of the government. So they are causing a lot of embarrassment, obviously, because this is a, a, a publicly owned company, and mm. we are going to elections in just a week's time. So it, it goes way beyond just the question of whether, whether bribes were paid or not. And here's what the courts have said. We can't provide documents related to the investigations as this is covered by secrecy clause under penal procedure. Only parties and lawyers are allowed access to information. But a fresh request can be considered after secrecy obligations are over.